Oh, good afternoon, gamers. I didn't see you there. As you can see, I'm just starting my gaming sesh for the day like I have many days for the past 20 years now. Wait, 20 years? Oh no, that means, oh no, I feel it happening. I'm turning into this. That's right, gamers. According to research, this is the visual representation of what a gaming addict might look like in 20 years. Let's just see some of the stuff that us gamers who have been gaming for 20 years are supposed to look like right now. Bald patches. Not yet. <laughs> Bloodshot eyes. I think I'm alright. Hairy ears. I think I'm good. Obviously the hunched back. I'm good there. Dark circles around the eyes. I mean, I might, but that's probably just the meth addiction. Obese. Also, the meth keeps me skinny, so, you know. Pale skin. I was born white. Please don't make fun of me. I'm sorry. And they get their... They show the hand. <laughs> Blisters on the fingertips. Actually, I have some. From playing guitar, but it's obviously from gaming. PlayStation thumb. I mean, I guess my hand does do this, so maybe they got me there. But that's the only one. Whoever made this. Slob my knob. Researchers. From online casino dot Canada. <laughs> well, there's the problem. As we've seen, it's just a trend to... Uh, trend in the media and just people who like... Who don't understand gaming or don't do it themselves to obviously just start hating it and say bad things about gaming. <sighs> We've all heard the gaming makes you violent. Because yeah, when I make a bad shot like that, it's definitely the game that makes me want to go blow up a freaking orphanage, not my previous mental illnesses or, or immense isolation. Oh, if you're a gamer, you're automatically big, obese, neckbeard kind of guy. An incel. The newest dumb thing I've seen today is anti-gaming spray. And it's put out, it's a product put out by that same Canadian site. It's time to take back the controller. This spritz will repel anyone who's reaching for the console. Created with fed up family members in mind, this stench has been developed to keep the gamer in your life from getting hooked on the latest release. Just remember to press save before you spray. <laughs> and it's advertised to be like for like unsatisfied couples. And of course, I, I guarantee these are all fake reviews. This one makes no sense. We fell out of love with video games. My girlfriend and I both love video games, but we have different tastes. We weren't console compatible. This spray changed it all. It stinks! Now we associate gaming with this god-awful smell. So they weren't really having... So they were having problems in their relationship because one was an X boner and the other was PS5. I'm assuming the Xbox person bought the spray. And because of that dumb difference in their relationship, they had to qu both quit a hobby they enjoyed doing. Obviously, the relationship isn't strong enough anyways. It's just dumb. So yeah, you can tell it's just fake reviews. And the people didn't even do their research. Like, do you know how long you sit in a gaming chair for and just rip bung cheeks straight into it all day? I sit on this ball. Do you think it smells good? My booty sweat? My booty juices just accumulate on here day in and day out? You think it smells good in here? <laughs> <coughs> Obviously not. No. A bad smelling gaming chair is a sign of a good gamer. Do you think I do you think us gamers put on deodorant midway through an eight hour gaming binge? No. We just let that stench ripen up. Oh boys, I can smell the sourdough bacon in my crotch. 
I'm feeling it this game. I'm on my game. And the worst part is the product is sold out. <laughs> so people are actually buying this thing. Oh. oh. That was pretty epic. Not gonna lie. <sighs> There's just a lot of dumb people out there. That's the bottom line. They'll never understand gaming. They'll always say it's bad. But people are dumb. And we've always known that. And it's never gonna change. That's it for today, gamers. Have a good one.